Hey y'all, this is Karen with Love Light Shine Art and Sew, and we're going to do some doodling today. We are, for the first time this year, because during the winter months, I don't get to use the barn, but back in the barn, we're in the she shed, so um, I thought since we're doing doodling, and my fond memory of doodling was in study hall in school, that I would use my school desk. Do y'all remember doodling at a school desk? Now let me know if you see me um, and where you're watching from. I want to shout out to uh, all my groups tonight, today, that is watching. And uh, let me know where you're watching from Co in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from, what group you're in, and what city you're in, or what state. You can just say your state. Okay, good. Here we go. And uh, my little stand is like, <laughs> so we're going to point it down here in a minute. But we're going to talk a little bit about doodling. What is doodling? Well, basically, it's whatever you want to do, but it's what you do when you're not thinking. Like you're, you're just kind of like mindless drawing. So um, it's, it's like when you're on the phone and somebody, you know how somebody calls you on the phone. Let me get my pen here. Let me get a pen. Not that one. <laughs> First one I picked up is not my favorite. Okay. It was just a little pen. Um, so somebody calls you on the phone. I do this. Um. I'm sitting here, I'm talking on the phone, and I'm usually writing what they're saying, or I'm just, okay, let's say um, we're talking about our, our like, in our group art today, this month, we're doing like a nautical theme. Uh, my So Much Art in a Box, let me turn this up a little bit, my boxes is, there it goes again, right down here, is a nautical theme. So, um, that's kind of like, we're sitting there and we're discussing, I'm talking with my friend Char, um, and we're discussing our theme for the month. So, while we're thinking about it, I might be, I might be doodling. Oh, wait, let's do a lighthouse. Okay, that would be cool. Hmm, draw a lighthouse. Oh, on the side of a cliff. Oh, that's neat. And I'm just sitting there just drawing, just doodling. Sometimes what I do is... I'll just start coloring it in, or I'll just start making marks. I love doing this. I love just making marks. I need to use a thicker pen so y'all can see me better. So doodling, you can use your pencil, your pen, your marker. Um, you can even, I mean, you can even use your paint if you have paint in front of you and you just want to play. Um, I have paint markers. So, um... So I might be, I might be thinking, hmm, let's do some seashells. Let me talk, I'm just going to, we're talking about, we're talking about um, the sea. I might be drawing seashells. Hmm, okay, that's cool, that's a nice theme. I'm just, I'm not thinking about what I'm drawing. I am right now, <laughs> but I'm trying not to be. So what I do is, if I... How many of you do this in church when the preacher's preaching? That's where Bible journaling came from, for real. So, the preacher's preaching, and I usually have the program in front of me, and it'll have... I hope he's not watching. <laughs> it'll have the name of the church up here. Trinity Life. Okay, so my, my program... You know, our little thing. Let me fix this. This is going to drive me crazy. It may go back down again. So, my church says, Trinity Life. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I know you do that. And I just start, while, I'm, while the preacher's preaching, I'm taking notes, and I'm playing with the letters. So... I'll be sitting there. Okay, let me point it down so you can see too. Okay. So I'll be sitting there and he's preaching. And I'll start making. 
arrows while he's talking. Well, you know, because our children are arrows that we shoot into the enemy's camp. I mean, it goes along with what he could be preaching, right? So, I'm drawing, I'm just making some scribbles. Scribble, scrabble. That's uh, what Char calls it, right, Char? At least I saw she's on here. Uh, I just scribble, scrabble. And so, um, some, of my, some of my doodling... Now, our, our art journal for this week is doodling. Do a doodle page. You don't have to do a lot. You can just do a little. You don't even have to do it. It's just up to you. But if you want to do, follow the prompts. This week is a doodle page. And I will post the others because it's on my phone and I'm using my phone. We'll go ahead and tell you because I'm going to make events for it so you can see what they are. So what I was doing earlier is I actually, I was going to tell you about, so some people actually take doodles and make money with their doodles. I've got one right here. This is some scrapbook paper that is basically doodles. I'm going to pull it out so you can, it doesn't have the, look at this. Look at that. They doodled and sold their doodles. Yes, that can be you can what you can do. They just went in the bathroom, looked at their makeup, and and just drew pictures of their makeup brushes and their bobby pins and their sunglasses and their high heels. I mean, you could do that, right? You could put that in your journal. So, how fun is that? And I bought it. So they made money off of me. I could have done that. But I like to see the pictures before I draw them. I am not the best drawer. Um, I I like to see it. I, I can look at something and draw it pretty good. But I'm not as good dreaming it up, maybe. So, I have a book. Let's see, I had another page in here I thought was kind of cool. But they just drew, they just drew words. They just made words. Look at that. That's Desser. You can totally do that. It just says, hello, gorgeous beauty, glam, gal. So, I thought there was another one in here, but I don't, maybe it's two sided. Oh, it's two sided. <gasps> Go figure. Look at this. I did that in junior high. I really did. Setting in study hall. Setting in study hall. Look at this. How many times did we draw eyelashes? So, because it's easier to draw closed eyes than open eyes, right? Eyelashes. Well, since I saw Mary Kay, I thought this was a really cute paper to uh, get. And, you know, you see it's still in the bag, still in the package. I haven't really used it. But, lips. How about some lips? I just thought this was super cute, and I could show you this as an example of doodling. And you could totally look at this and draw this in your journal if you wanted to do in like a beauty journal. Uh, maybe you sell makeup. Doesn't have to be Mary Kay. You can sell um, other makeup. I've sold, I've sold several different makeups. I've sold Avon, Beauty Control, Arbonne. So uh, yeah, I kind of like makeup, I guess. But then I also I had I found this book. It's a hand lettering and doodle workbook. So I thought I would uh, show you some of the easy doodles that I learned doing this. So uh, in this from this book. So and it's it's really a fun book. So it has these are doodles. I painted them. I painted them. I painted splotches and then doodled flowers over them. Aren't those cute? Those are just lines. Oh, this one I haven't doodled yet. I just painted, so might do that. My friend Char, she has a a subscription for it called Folio by Design, and this is one of the pages she gave us to uh, use for templates. There's several more that goes with it. I just printed this one out, so you can see. Like this month is um, our nautical theme. 
So we have this page that we can just draw in our notebook. Draw, you know, you could draw all kinds of stuff. Okay, before I go to this book, I'm going to show you some of the things that I used to doodle. <laughs> um, okay. This is when I was in, when I was in, you know, grade school. I guess when I was in junior high, I started, started this because I had a friend that sat in study hall with, and she was a master doodler. <laughs> she could draw anything. I was so jealous because I can paint, but drawing's not my forte. I wish. I wish. But it's not. I'm looking for something. These are like different things you can use. I've got watercolor pencils and just colored pencils. Watercolor pencils aren't here. These are colored pencils. I have um, alcohol markers, those illustration markers. Um, just black markers. This is an illustration marker. Uh, those are permanent. You could also use water base and do something with it. Sharpies, Sharpies are great. Let's use a Sharpie. You'll be able to see it really good. So what I used to do, maybe it won't bleed through. Okay, what I used to do is, and like I said, I, I, I watched other people, so I kind of learned from my friend. And, um, of course, she did all kinds of different pictures. Like, she would have, you know, like a telephone and glasses, and she would have all kinds of pictures like that poster I made to, on the group. But this is really, really easy to do. You just start anywhere on your page. I'm just going to pick a spot. And then you just start drawing. And I do swirls. I'm kind of a swirly girl. And you see, it's don't pick up your pen. And you just keep going. And then you kind of make, I call them paisleys. And you try not to make them overlap. And I like to go in a little swirl and then come back out. And then as you go, you're just going to follow that design that you started. And when it starts getting boring, you add another one in. And this is also, I kind of went over the line. This is also fun when you're decorating a cake. We did my daughter's wedding cake. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. It's called stippling. There's a word. If you're a cake decorator, now I'm not looking at the comments right now. I apologize. Um, hey, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's good to see you all there. Um, it's hard for me to look at the comments and be able to see what I'm doing here. So, and I had my computer on, but now it, it signed off. So, um, when we did the wedding cake, so this is just, we just, you just fill up the whole page like that. That's fun to do. And if you want to like make a picture, like say a house, and then you just can fill it with all kinds of lines and swirls. Now it doesn't have to be a house. This is just an example because it's easy and you just Char is really good at this if you watch any of her lives on Folk City Art she does a lot of fun scribble scrabble just something like that we're just filling in doing it's kind of like tangling but the difference is I think tangling is more like the lines and the swirls and the dots and you're doing it intentionally and doodles are like you're just mindlessly doing it while you're doing something else it's like it's like you have your art side of your brain and your thinking side working at the same time i know about that because my son is dyslexic and when um one side of the brain kind of fights the other side so if they put music in one ear um then this brain can be undistracted. I know it's different. It's interesting, but anyway, I learned that. So that's one kind of doodling. I also, 
I always like to do um, words, and I don't know if I can do them backwards because y'all are, I couldn't, if I turn my phone around, I won't be able to see you at all. So, I'll try to do it. I kind of make bubble letters, and then I would just, I call this doodling because I would do this when I'm just sitting there talking on the phone, maybe. I'm not sure you can you tell this at Karen. Oh, it does look like Karen. Ha! I can write backwards. Interesting. And also on my page, Love, Light, Shine, Art, and Sew, there is a post that says, show me your doodles. So when y'all get through and y'all do a doodle, and if you have your pen and paper, do it with me right now. Now at school, these desks had a bigger, bigger thingy here than this one does. But I got this one from my dad's office and it's very sentimental to me. Because my dad gave it to me. Okay, some of the doodles I did in school. <laughs> I did. I did ladies. Somebody showed me this when I was little. One of my mother's friends. She drew these ladies and she, hers was beautiful. And so I love drawing those. And um I would draw, I was playing this afternoon, seeing what doodles. My mother always drew tornadoes. I think maybe that's why I have a fascination with tornadoes. So she would, whirlwinds or whatever you call them, she would draw tornadoes for me when I was little. So that's just something. We did a lot of stars and I did a lot of hearts. Because my mother was not an artist per se. But this was what she showed me how to draw. She showed me how to draw this little bunny. Um, so, let's see what else. And those are the, the fill up the page ones that I was talking about. And you can put little things and then as you draw around it, you just go around them. It's kind of cute. Let's see. I have these little wood cutouts. And I was going to show you. You could just use whatever you have. For a template like you have something like this that does not look like a stocking for me it might take more than one <laughs> go around it several times to make it look like a stocking but that's why you practice that's why you practice you could even trace around it I'm doing it very fast but you could trace around it to make your doodle and then once you've done it you might be sitting there doing them all the time she also my mother also showed me to make boxes 3d boxes that was her thing that cracks me out when i think about the things i learned from my mom she taught me a lot of this little drawing stuff now her friend annis she showed me how to draw the ladies i love drawing all the different hairstyles and especially with bangs. They're so fun to do. Isn't that fun? Okay, so now we're going to draw. I'm going to use the other journal. I have two journals. Well, I have a lot of journals. This one is the one I've been painting in. This, my, my grandson and I did a draw along, a paint along. And that's his and that's mine. I think he did pretty good. And this was some flowers I just did the other day by um, just painting and drawing. This is my note taking. That's my little birdie. You saw that on the on the page. So these are the doodles I did today out of this book, and it's it's really fun. It's got some different ones that you can script doodles is to scribble absentmindedly. That's what it says. Turn it this way. So these are really fun to do. I think, I think we've all made tulips when we were little. So let's do a tulip. That's pretty simple. And, and I love the way they break it down here. So I'm going to do that for you. But I'm going to do it on a different page. I'm going to turn the page. Well, let's do it on this page over here. So let me... I might need a thicker pen so you can see it better. Let me get a thicker pen. I'll use this one. 
that's really thick. Let's use this one and see if y'all can see this really good. So we all know tulips are pretty fun, pretty easy to do. Let me turn it this way. So we're going to make a U and a line. Kind of looks like a pea shooter, doesn't it? And then we're just going to go down and down and then a little part of a triangle, a leaf, a leaf, a line, a line, and we've drawn a tulip. You can add to it. You can color it in. You can take your markers. You can add some grass. I always add grass at the bottom. You can take your markers or your paints and color it. So that's a, that's a quick and easy tulip. Now let's draw this, this, um, this rose. It looks like a rose to me. So we start by drawing a circle. So we're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to do like a half moon. A half moon. And then we're going to do another half moon. And then we're going to start like in the middle of this one. And then we're going to, let's see where we're going to start. Let me see how to, okay. We're going to start here and we're going to go to the middle. So you basically don't even have to lift up your pen. You just keep going around and around. And you've drawn a flower. How cute. And then you just want to add some leaves. Those are simple leaves to add. And now you've got some leaves and a flower, a rose. So we'll do it again. We'll do it one more time. You can always back it up if you're watching a replay. You go back and watch it. But we're going to do a circle. And then we're going to do a half moon. And then we're just going to go back up, do another half moon. Don't go touch. We're not going to touch it because we're going to go from here and go halfway. And then we're going to go back halfway and then back halfway and then back. We're just going to keep going to the middle of that line. And there's our rose. And then our leaves are really simple. They're like kind of like little footballs, but you're... Kind of just going to do part of one and then start in the middle of this one and do another leaf behind it. Draw your little um, veins. And there's your, your rose. I want to see everybody make a rose. I bet you can. Raise your hand if you make a, made a rose. Now, they also showed, let's see, there's an, oh no, that's the one I did. I drew that one. That's my drawing. Okay. And then it's got some, some others right here, and I'll do those real fast. This looks like the tulip. We're going to make a U again and go down. But right here, we're going to make an oval at the top. And then we're just going to make an oval and an oval. And now we have another kind of flower. I'm not sure what that one is. And we're just going to add some, some little footballs down the stem. And I don't know why. They always have to have weeds there or little grass that are growing out of the grass down there at the bottom. So there's just a really cute little rose. You can make it a little bit bigger. Let's go over here and do it. Oh, it went through. Okay. Maybe I should put some paper behind there so it doesn't go through. Let's see if I have something. Nah, it's fine. I'll just go into right over here. So we're going to make a U and a stem. This time I'll make the oval a little bit bigger. And then we're going to make it um, another oval and another oval. So it kind of looks like a rosebud, doesn't it? And then you can do whatever leaves you want on there. You can do it any way you want. Um, you could put a little flower pot down here. You could put it in a flower pot. So there's another little doodle for you from now on. When you start doodling, you can just start doodling these flowers. Here's a cute one. This is really simple. It's almost like a feather. You're just going to, it's a lot of dots and lines, dots and lines. You can branch them out. 
almost looks like a weed, doesn't it? You want it to go to the stem. I didn't do that. Can make more than one off of one. And this is just, just doing, just standing here without thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just pulling out. Yeah, you gotta watch me because I could do this all day. So there's just another little way of doodling. I love the flowers that are just a circle and petals. Of course, we always have skin and we have some leaves. Or you could have tall leaves. Or you could have grassy leaves. They don't have to match the flower because this is your drawing. It can be whimsical. Can you can totally make it up? Uh, let's have these. We did. This one's fun. It's just circles. You just circle. Just keep making circles. There's another thing I like to do is bubbles. Just drawing bubbles. Let's see what else we got. We had also some doodle. There's some doodle trees, but let's do doodle arrows. Already did some over here. Let me see how they. Do. Just all kinds of arrows that you can just change up. Just sit there and play with them. It's just straight line and a triangle or heart. Or you just write a word. That's the only thing is you have a point at one end and you have a feather at the other. Super fun. Got some um, wigwams, <laughs> teepees there. And then trees. Trees are fun to do. They're very simple. Straight line. Swirls. Each swirl gets a little bit bigger. Now, if you look, if you have any stamps, basically, I have a stamp that looks just like that. A lot of stamps. And you could just keep doing this. I think those are cute. I have a stamp. One of these, I had a stamp that looked just, oh, this one right here. This one right here. I have a stamp that looks like that. I could have just drawn it without buying the stamp. This one's fun. It's a, what are those called when they're three things like that? Let's see if I've got any comments. Okay, it's like going back and forth. It's hard to read. But anyway, so there's some tree doodles. And those would be fun to do. Oh, look at these. These are um, the flower pots with some flowers, maybe succulents, some cactus. Cactus are fun to draw. Those are fun doodles. Look at this. It's a U. Oh, would you believe my pen is getting dry? It's not even that old. We find another pin. Let me find another pin. Let's do green. Oh, we're doing uh, we're doing plants anyway. Might as well do green. Well, that does not want to stay there. Okay, so we're going to make a U. Basically, this is going to be a flower pot. And cactus right here. How fun is that? It's just an oval, an oval, an oval, and then you're just going to draw a V and a, a little point coming out for your, uh, what are those called in your cactus? Thorns. Your thorns. It works better if you, if you go bigger. And then you just, any kind of flower pot, you can draw a square one, 
give it some dots and make it look a little more, uh, what do you, um, what kind of flower pots are those with the, I guess they're just painted. Um, this one is kind of a rectangle with rounded edges and then gave it a little spot to put the tree and just throw out some branches and then make some dots. A lot of doodles are basically just lines and dots, lines and dots, shapes, lines and dots. You've got your rectangles, your your letters, your U's, your footballs, your leaves are your footballs. Just throw some stems on there. You could sit here and just draw leaves all over your page. And somebody will sell that to the scrapbooking company. And then we'll turn around and buy it. Won't we? Polka dots are fun. I do a lot of polka dots when I'm doodling. And then you just throw out your branches and then pick what flower you want to put on there. So, if you want to take a screenshot of this, you can go back and do the, um, the video to rewatch it and you can do a screenshot. So you can um, practice with that. Here is the trees. You can even trace it with tracing paper if you aren't comfortable drawing. But I, I had an artist tell me, uh, one of my, really one of my mentors, she um, she was on Periscope. Her name was Karen Orr. Who still is. Her name still is Karen Orr. She's just not um, on there anymore where you can watch her. I think she retired. But she did beautiful wedding photography. And what she said to do was to, um, to just get some tracing paper and practice tracing. And that will teach your hand, your muscle memory, and get your hand used to doing the, the uh, art when you don't have it to look at. When you don't have the tracing paper, it will teach you to draw. So my daughter and I went and bought a whole bunch of books of tracing paper. <laughs> I started tracing a lot of it. Doodle. These are just doodle lines. Look at this. You can do dot dots. You can do swirls. You can do like, these are like E and then a backwards E. Just like making E's hearts, loops, like the little E's. Um, I can just, I can see all kinds of things. There's just a line of hearts, leaves, just three lines. You can use that in your journal when you're making your pages. Like, um, let's see. Let me find a page here. Like on this page, I could use the lines to just kind of decorate my page up. Kind of give it a something, kind of a fun finishing uh, border. It looks more finished than it does if it's just blank around. I would do, excuse me, I would do it before I drew on it so I wouldn't draw on top of what I'm doing there. So, I didn't draw, you could do a star, let's see if I can do a starfish. Let's see if I can draw a starfish. It's not like a, necessarily like a star. I'm not good at this. Starfish, and then it's got lines, and then it's just got dots all the way around it. Kind of cute. I always think of, of Nemo when you see the starfish. <laughs> he even had some little dots here. Add some dots, dots and lines. Not too bad. It could be better. I was in a hurry. <laughs> I'll blame it on. I'll blame it on that. Oops, that's the wrong one. Put the lid back on. So, 
there's your thirst journal prompt from me, which is doodle a page in your journal. And I would love to see your pages. Um, post them in the event if you're on the uh, Christians Crafting with Creativity group. Post it in the event. And on Art of Day, I would love to see you post them in your on our page for your art for the day. And um, post it on my page because I put a post on Love Like Sean Art and So that says post your doodles here to be in the drawing. So go like the page or follow, like and follow or like or follow one or the other. Go like the page and post and you will get in the drawing. And also, um, I have a page called Grandmommy's Gems, and I would love for you to go over there, uh, just search Grandmommy's Gems, and, or hashtag Grandmommy's Gems, you should be able to see some reels I've made. Go watch my reels and um, help me out there. I would really appreciate that. Those are, those are just some fun things. Um, Mike got a squirrel to eat out of his hand today. Um, it's falling again. <laughs> He got a squirrel to eat out of his hand. He's been working and working, and so the, he actually came up and took the the peanut out of his hand and ate it. So I put that on a reel on my on that page and some other things. We went to the zoo the other night, and uh, so there's a uh, some some of the zoo stuff over there. We were singing. <laughs> we got us singing. If you want to see me and Mike singing, oh gosh, you might not want to do it, but. We're over there singing a Beatles song. Yeah, it was a Beatles band. But anyway, go watch my reels. And they're on my other page too. So go watch on my pages, on my reels. And uh, thanks for watching. And I enjoy this. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And you do some doodling. And please share it on Love Like Sean Art and So on my page. So you, I can see how you, if you liked it and in how you're doing it because I know you're going to do a lot better than I am because I'm like I said it's just something that you do for fun and uh, enjoy so hope you enjoy it talk to you later bye bye